hello you guys today i want to talk about the sit down with keisha and jeremy but before i get to it i would like to tell you what i think about it this is strictly from body language you guys jeremy gave me the impression of i love my girlfriend and i know she ain't she ain't going nowhere keisha on the other hand gave me the impression of um, I love him, but three strikes and you're out. I think the next time he cheats, or if he cheats again, she's going to leave. Like her mind has already checked out of it, but she's just working on it for the girls. In my opinion, I do believe it will happen again. Not because it's Jeremy, but because I believe that all men cheat. All men. There's not a man that I know that haven't cheated if i'm wrong let me know in the comments but i don't know that all women cheated because i know that i haven't cheated in a relationship i believe that everything is meant to happen and i also believe that when god wants you out of a relationship he will do everything in his power to get you out of it and plus, there will always be signs in the beginning of a relationship. You just have to take heed. There's always warning before destruction. If we don't listen, there will be more destruction. Um, I know I've been down that road. Yes, I've been cheated on when I was six months pregnant. But I chose to stay. And years later, it happened again. We all make mistakes. Our mistakes are what makes us better individuals. We can't learn from other people telling us what to do. We have to learn on our own. It's all a learning process. I can't tell her to stay and I can't tell her to leave. It's up to her. It's their life. She knows what she needs in her life. She knows what she don't need. I can say, live your best life, do you, and do what makes you happy. In the beginning of the video, they talk about why they wrote the book. And Jeremy was like, he couldn't live with himself as a man, holding a secret like that. And the hardest thing he had to do was tell his family, and he was ashamed. And they wanted to tell their truth. Keisha said she wanted the child to be in Jeremy's life. And she wanted him to be in his sister's life. And they wanted to tell it before it got out. Before somebody else told it. The part that I didn't like is when he said, I don't need a woman for anything. And his girlfriend was sitting right there. I didn't like that part. But that's just me in my opinion. So the next question was, would you have told Keisha if you hadn't got the other girl pregnant? And his answer was, yes, we are very honest with each other. And Keisha's answer was, we were already going to counsel. The next question was, Keisha, do you think you're a good mother for sticking around? And she said, yes, she's an excellent mother and she's a strong black woman. And Jeremy said um, something about breaking up the black community. He didn't want to break up a home, a family. The next question was, how did your family and friends feel when they found out? And Keisha said they were disappointed and hurt. And she said that they didn't tell anybody until two weeks before she gave birth. And Jeremy said his family urged him to get through it. And they said God has a purpose for everything. And they scorned him about how Keisha didn't deserve to be treated like that. She didn't deserve to go through that. The fifth question was, how active are you in your son's life? And he said he's very active in his son's life. And Keisha said she encouraged it. And Jeremy said him and Keisha are going to be together forever. And they're gonna have plenty more problems and they're gonna get through it. But Keisha was looking like, yeah, that's what you think. <laughs> The sixth question was, will the baby boy be in the vlog? The vlog. And Jeremy said, he hasn't crossed that bridge yet. 
but he really doesn't don't want him to be in it and Keisha was like not right now so basically she was saying he he's gonna be in it the next question was do the girls see their brother or do they have a good relationship with their brother and they were like yes they have a good relationship they went swimming together they facetime each other the eighth question is keisha do you have a good relationship with the baby's mother and she said she has a respectful relationship um she said she didn't want a whole hatred in her heart for the girl ninth question jeremy do you have a relationship with your son's mother he said at first they cut all ties and then when she had the baby, when the baby was born, they started communicating. It was all about the baby. And Keisha said she encouraged it. The tenth question said, did you like the woman more than one time? Which I didn't really get that question. But he said no. The next question is, would you have stayed in a relationship if children weren't involved? And she said, I don't know. And she said she knows her worth. She's not insecure, and she's anybody's catch, and she is the problem. The last question was, how are you going to prove to Keisha that you are a changed man? And he said, Keisha, I already know that I love her. And at the end, they said, he said, I love you. And she said, I love you too. And that's the end of the story. Until next time. Bye-bye.